Electric. As soon as we walked on the field, you could hear it. You know, we put them out there for the one play when Gunner's helmet came off, and and uh, you could feel the vibe and the energy from the from the fans. And uh, so when we put them in there for real in the fourth quarter, I guess um, you could definitely sense the difference. So I guess it was the end of the third. But, but uh, he's he's a real guy. I mean, he plays for a lot of teams in, in college football, and he's been. been more than we could ever ask for in our season this year, and, and uh, so and the, the fans appreciate it too. You know when we put him back out there. So the thing that you got to remember for him is, I mean that guy went out there with a lot of pain tonight to play that final stretch of the game, and uh, so I tip my hat to him, his competitiveness and uh, the effort and the poise that he had in that situation. So. Phenomenal, phenomenal display. Not that you ever want to have to play your backups. You obviously want your starter out there, but how important is it that you know that both of your backups can now go out there and perform at a high level and, and compete? Oh, it's important. It's important for anybody that's, you know, got a running quarterback. You just never know when that moment's going to come. And for us, it's it's come a lot. You know, it seems like lately, but but uh, yeah, it's been good experience for those guys and valuable for sure. And uh, I think uh, moving forward, you know, we're better for it. And, Spencer comes in. It seemed like the whole vibe changed. How, how does how does it change when Spencer came in the game? Like, well, uh, you know, we hadn't really been on any stretches of moving the football, so that was part of it. They know that he's a dynamic competitor. Um, the guys follow him for sure. He's our leader. There's unquestionable leader. Uh, and so when he takes the field, everybody just feels like anything's possible. And uh, as you saw tonight, it was. So, great job. Yeah, cause he, how, how much has he practiced? I mean, much lately. He has practiced much, right? I mean, I don't know, I'm trying to remember if he has. <laughs> Hell of a job, Spence. That 83 yard touchdown by JP is the longest since Thailand 2019. How important was that for the offense in, in that moment? It was, it was big. I mean, it was a great ball. Um, we talked about you know the contour of that defense there, and, and uh, if he had an opportunity to let let one go and see what happens because. You just don't get big plays against that defense. It's so hard to do. They cheat and they send guys deep all the time, and, and their their middle safety always is rotating back and helping out. It's very hard to find it. You know, you look at the um, the game versus K State. We dug into that hard because it's really the same defense. You know, and uh, we saw two teams battling against each other, and the game finished ten to nine with four field goals and a, and a broken play touchdown for seventy five yards. So there's not a whole lot out there versus both of those teams, and, and especially Iowa State. Um, so for us to hit that huge one there, shot in the arm all the way. And uh, we were going to take our shots, you know, and just hopefully some of them would connect and we'd get a big play out of it. That was one of them. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.